archway like that one and these types of rocks and boulders, that's not true. In fact, these are the types of rocks and boulders that were used to brick up and block away the underground vaults for 100 years. Same types of rocks and bricks and boulders and stuff that uh, Norrie Rowan had to get through with the contractors. Uh, but Norrie has tried to get through this particular wall, but the council who do random checks have come down and asked them to brick it back up, hence the four modern bricks. The powers of be, the council, they know something they don't want us to find out about, something they want to keep hidden from the public. It is said that what lies behind this wall could be one of the darkest chapters in Edinburgh's past, something that they're embarrassed, something they don't want us to find out about. Others believe that it could be a very powerful poltergeist force that must not be released. Now, I've had people who've taken this tour way back in November last, the previous year, 2008, and uh, they've come back on my tour during the summer, and they've commented that the size of the vaults have increased since that time. So I assume, therefore, in the future that we'll have a much wider space as well, we'll get more access in the future. But regarding this particular uh, dark and sinister force that lies behind this wall, I personally believe that that horrible thing is probably just a gift shop. <laughs> you know the ones that play the bagpiping? <laughs> horrible. Anyway, no, actually, what lies behind here could, some say, go for another 100 to 150 metres no one's ever seen it. In fact, it's the same around there, but there's a lot of places that the public don't get to see. In fact, no one has seen. Even under the castle, <coughs> where I work during the daytime, there's a lot of things underneath that never get access by the public. Only the stewards who've worked there 15 years have got special keys to go there, and they took me once, and it's even freakier than the vaults. There's a lot of places in Edinburgh you have to see. Anyway, I just wanted to share that to you. Follow me.